Welcome back to another Space Gas video tutorial. This is the second video in the Space Gas Analysis video series. Using the model from the previous video, we will now increase the vertical load dramatically to see how much the frame can withstand. Analyzing non-linearly again, you can see that we get a deflection that appears to move in the wrong direction. The reason for this is because the frame's buckling capacity has been exceeded. However, apart from the sway direction, the deflected shape looks quite reasonable and you could be excused for thinking that the results are okay. Of course, the results are totally incorrect and could result in an unsafe design if they were used. For this reason, space gas comes with a frame buckling check that should always be turned on during a static analysis. If we repeat the static analysis with the frame buckling check on, it detects the buckling problem and displays an error message. This message should never be ignored and, when it appears, the results should never be used. Let's now reduce the vertical load somewhat to try to stay within the frame's buckling capacity. Analyzing non-linearly again and ensuring that the frame buckling check is turned on the error is now gone, and the analysis appears to have been successful. However, if we show the deflected shape, you can see that the deflections are extreme and we still appear to have a problem. The reason is that although the frame hasn't buckled, it is quite close to buckling. As a general rule, as the loads approach the frame's buckling capacity, the deflections approach infinity. If the loads are further increased beyond the buckling capacity, then the deflections often reverse in direction. The last analysis demonstrates that while the frame buckling check can detect if buckling occurs, it can't tell you how close the frame is to buckling. For this reason, a full buckling analysis is often required, and this is demonstrated in the next video.